What is time to kick off the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The road to WrestleMania for eight teams begins tonight. And what a way to kick it off with the former World Tag Team Champions meeting up with some old competition in the first round. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic! All roads lead to WrestleMania for these eight teams. Tonight it's Dijakovic and Priest versus the Viking Raiders. Street Profits and the New Day will meet next week on Raw. And then on the Friday night SmackDown side of the bracket, Legato Del Fantasma takes on Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura plus Imperium versus Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. It will be a SmackDown versus Raw final on WrestleMania Saturday, February 25th. And then the winners of the 2023 Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic will meet the current WWE World Tag Team Champions Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY 2v2 for the gold on Sunday night, February the 26th, WrestleMania Sunday. Dijakovic has entered and here comes his tag team partner, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. And his partner from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian well, we have one more live premiere before we get to WrestleMania at the end of the February. That's coming up on February the 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, a Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday night's main event. A lot of great action coming from Saturday night's main event over the last year. The tradition continues on the road to WrestleMania. February the 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Mark your calendars, it's gonna be another great event. But tonight here on Raw, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. They lost their World Tag Team Championships to Johnny Gargano and Namaso Ciampa back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. They would love nothing more than not only to win the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and the honor that is bestowed with it, but then to move on to WrestleMania Sunday and run it back with DIY and have a chance to become the Tag Team Champions for the second time in their careers. But their opponents tonight Two men they got history with dating back to the month of December. Eric Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. It was back on December the 7th of last year at Raw Homecoming during the midst of Priest and Dijakovic's Tag Team Championship reign that they successfully defended the gold against these two men, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. But did, it did not come easy for Priest and Dijakovic on that night. One of the best matches of 2022 without a doubt. And two men who almost a year ago at this point, last March won the World Tag Team Championships from Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, which really started the downfall of that tag team would love nothing more than for them to get another shot at the tag team championship. They held the gold from last March all the way till June 26 at SummerSlam last year. They've had a couple of opportunities to get them back. Unfortunately, haven't been able to do so, but is tonight the night for Eric and Ivar to move one step closer to becoming the tag team champions yet again. We'll find out in due time, but tonight is about the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and the lineage and the respect and the honor that comes with this very tournament. It's the first time it is going down on the main roster. It has been an NXT mainstay over the last several years. But Raw and SmackDown getting their chance to honor the American Dream over these next couple of weeks on the road to WrestleMania. Ivar and Dijakovic kicking things off. Again, this is not the first meeting between these two teams. One of the best matches of 2022. Back in Madison Square Garden, New York City, on December the 7th at Monday Night Raw Homecoming. 
Priest and Dijakova got their hand raised on that night. I'm sure Eric and Ivar have watched that match back in preparation of tonight. We're going to figure out what they did wrong, right the wrongs of that contest, and walk away the victors here tonight in Kansas City. Going to move one step closer to WrestleMania. Of course, the winners of this match will meet the winners of next week's Street Profits and New Day matchup in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Damian Priest getting cut off there by Ivar, and the big man using his size to his advantage. Tag made to Eric, as Priest and Eric meet in the middle of the ring. A little off center, but nonetheless, Damian Priest with a shot to Eric. As the fight continues, and you gotta believe this is gonna be a barn burner between these two men, between these two teams. Nice maneuver there by Eric, showing some strength. Eric's got that MMA background. He knows how to utilize it to his advantage. A lot of suplex variations just like that. A lot of slam variations in Eric's move set. Now again, picking up Damian Priest. Damian Priest, no small man. But Eric is throwing him around like a rag doll right now. And again, Eric unloading on Priest in the corner. Viking Raiders with something to prove tonight. They want their win back from December the 7th, and they want to move on to the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Meanwhile, Damian Priest shoots Eric off, looking to outrun his opponent here. Beautiful clothesline there by the Archer of Infamy. A tag made to the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. Priest and Dijakovic have had an, an amazing run as a tag team ever since joining up back in the fall. Won the World Tag Team Championships on September the 10th of last year at Judgment Day by defeating Dominic and Rey Mysterio. And held the gold all the way till January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Two men with a lot of size and strength, but two men who also have a ton of agility to fly around that ring. And one of the reasons why they work so well. Eric's not interested in any of their abilities. He just wants to dominate, destroy, and win tonight. Tag made to Ivar, and Dijakovic, you see, he was right there to cut Ivar off. And there's some of that agility we were talking about out of the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. And again, cut and Ivar in half off that elevated Bronco Buster. Springboard, look at that. Leg drop, cover, to move on to the semis. Not just yet as Ivar gets the shoulder up. It's going to take a lot to keep both of these teams down. They know each other well, and a lot is riding on the line in this matchup. And Dijakovic saw Eric lying in wait and decided to capitalize. Cross body to the outside. But turning his attention to Eric may have just cost him here as the other half of Viking Raiders, Ivar, has now taken control of this matchup. And the biggest man of the match slams down the rare breed. Oh no, Ivar ain't afraid to fly. Oh my goodness, what a moonsault off the middle rope. Into the cover, Damian Priest breaking things up, but that was almost it. What agility, how impressive was Ivar off that moonsault off the middle rope. And Dijakovic trying to bounce back, but Ivar having none of it. He said we were in for a barn burner tonight, and these two teams not disappointing yet. This is only the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. It's all to move on to the semifinals and then a chance to compete at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Dijakovic getting back into this as Eric is also the legal man. It would be smart for Dijakovic to head to his corner, tagging Damian Priest. He took a lot of big time offense from Ivar there, but we know how tough the rare breed is. Him and Priest have gone the distance with several tag teams during their run as the champions, and they ain't afraid to do it again. Off the power bomb, sends Eric into the corner. What has the rare breed got in mind right now? I'll try and maybe go for a cutter. Not sure, but a psycho knee out of nowhere. Blinky Raiders to move on to the semifinals. Dijakovic able to scrape his shoulder off the canvas, but how close was that? Dijakovic needs a tag, he needs it now. Wait a minute, schoolboy. Oh, too close to the ropes there. Almost trying to steal the win over the Viking Raiders. Now that's chop and a super kick by the rare breed. Dijakovic, he has got to be feeling it right now. He needs a tag to the Archer of Infamy. 
He took that mood saw, he took the psycho knee, and there's the tag. Damian Priest, the legal man. Oh, wait a minute. Eric's right there to cut him off. Priest with the kip up, goes for the clothesline. Eric counters, Priest counters, and Eric goes over the top rope. Leaving everything in that ring tonight. Dijakovic is down and out on the outside. Priest has got to go it alone right now. Wait a minute, Springboard dive to the outside. Or maybe leave everything in and out of the ring. Damian Priest showcasing that Dijakovic and Eric and Ivar are the only ones who can take it to the sky. Tag made to Ivar. Both their tag team partners are laid out right now. And we got a one-on-one -on -one match, at least for the time being. Ivar and Damian Priest going at it. Ivar's had a few moments to rest as Damian Priest has got to be reeling off that dive. Never mind, Kip up, but he tackles down the bigger competitor. The former NXT North American champion, former United States champion, and former one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, looking to get his hand raised here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now look at the strength out of Priest to pick up Ivar and slam him down right on the knee. So what you gotta do, you gotta break down the bigger competitor. Obviously Priest and Dijakovic got size to him, but Ivar is a different kind of athlete. And he proves it every time he is inside of the ring. There's a reason the Viking Raiders are former world tag team champions just in the last year alone. And what a boot scrape by Priest. Priest has got his eyes locked on Ivar right now. And, oh, wait a minute, could be looking for that reckoning. But Ivar able to muscle out of it. And there's a counter by Priest. Back and forth we go in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And what a matchup we got tonight on Raw. We still have Cedric Alexander versus the WWE Champion Randy Orton coming up in your main event. Priest again tackling down Ivar. Just trying to keep the bigger competitor down by any means necessary. Ijakovic with a few moments to rest. He now gets tagged in by Damian Priest. Springboard, leg drop again by the rare breed. And Dijakovic's got his eyes on Ivar yet again. We've seen him do it in the past. He's gonna do it again. He's looking for the feast your eyes. Dead center of the ring. And Dijakovic, oh man, he tried going after Eric there, but Eric got the knee up and Dijakovic retaliates. And he let Ivar rest, and that's the mistake there by the rare breed. He went after Eric, and it gave time for Ivar to recuperate after that feast your eyes. Now into the cover. And Ivar able to get the shoulder up. Dijakovic and Priest not able to put the Bucky Raiders away just yet. Shooting Ivar off again. Look at the strength off the tilt to world backbreaker. Not many men are going to be able to do that to Ivar. Dijakovic is one of them. We've seen Dijakovic put Ivar away with that feast your eyes in the past, but took his eye off the ball, targeted Eric, and it may have cost him in this matchup, but he's trying to fight from behind right now. Ivar with the tag to Eric. Fresher competitor of the Viking Raiders in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Kickoff matchup rolls on as Dijakovic takes momentum back. Oh, now look at this. Here comes the strength out of the rare breed. Sits out with the power bomb directly into the cover. Smart by Dijakovic there, but not enough to put Eric away. Now a tag made back to Damian Priest. Does Damian Priest got the tools to keep the Viking Raiders down tonight? So far, I'd say these two teams are topping their collision for Raw Homecoming back on December the 7th. Eric counters out. Priest with the kip up. My goodness, what a forearm to the back of the head. That'll knock any man out twice on Monday. Eric with a counter. Priest with a counter. Back and forth we go in the first round. Priest, there's the strength. Backbreaker on the knee to one half of the Viking Raiders. You saw it in the right corner of your screen there for a moment. Ivar starting to get back to the ring. They're being laid out by Dijakovic moments ago. Damian Priest in there with Eric. What is it going to take for one of these two teams 
to advance to the semifinals. Both teams are going to be counting their lucky stars as they're going to have a week to rest as we still have the other first round matchup for Monday Night Raw coming your way next week. As Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, take on Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. Of course, the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues on SmackDown this Friday night as well. I believe Damian Priest might have been going for the reckoning again there, but Eric was able to counter and he tags in Ivar. Now Ivar, oh no. There's the strength from the big man. This could be a knockout blow. Priest, skull first on the canvas. And Ivar's got to go for the cover. Got to give Viking Raiders and Ivar credit here. Smart to pull Priest away from Dijakovic. He's got to pick a spot here. He's got him dead center of the ring. I think he wants him as far away from the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic, as he possibly can, though. This is giving Damian Priest time to rest. I don't think this is a good move right now by Ivar at this point. He has dragged him all the way to Viking Raiders territory. And Ivar into the cover. Dijakovic to unintentionally, I think, distracting the referee. Dijakovic in to break things up. That was a costly misstep by Ivar if I ever saw one. Uh, Dijakovic's going after Ivar in the ring. Damian Priest, I believe Eric got tagged in. Lot to call here as Eric gets snapped off the top rope. The Archer of Infamy coming undone, goes for the dive to the outside, but Eric sidesteps it. The fight continues, Priest with a lariat. This Pier 6 brawl has made its way to the outside of the ring here in Kansas City, and a Falcon Arrow by Priest. Damian Priest stands tall in the ring for a moment. His smart call to give himself time to rest. Look at that, knocks Ivar off the top rope. Well, Damian Priest shoots Eric off here and sends him for a ride. Man, how deep are we into this matchup? Oh, it gotta be almost 10 minutes, if not over at this point. And now Priest, oh wait a minute, could be going for that razor's edge here. Priest loves to have this maneuver on hand in his arsenal. Razor's edge into the cover. And that's gotta do it. That's the exclamation point that they needed, not just yet as Eric gets the shoulder up in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic moves on. Got his arms locked here. Eric able to counter. And this is what winning this tournament means to these two teams, and not only winning the tournament, but earning an opportunity at the tag team titles on night two of WrestleMania on February 26. Reese back in control. There's a counter by Eric. That was a stiff knee to the nose, can break a nose on any day. Counter again, back and forth, the momentum swings in this matchup on Raw. And absolutely topping their matchup from Raw Homecoming back on December the 7th, 2022. And now again, Damian Priest going to the well with what works. Razor's Edge number two, and he's not done. Picking Eric back up. And continuing the fight. Priest knows at this point, Eric is showing too much sign of heart, too much signs of life. He knows one Razor's Edge wasn't enough, a second one probably wasn't gonna be either. That may have given Eric the chance to get back in this match. And just as we started earlier, Eric drives Damian Priest down on the canvas. And a kip up by Priest sends Eric over the top rope on Viking Raiders territory. Oh, wait a minute, Damian Priest. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, there it is. Step up, dive to the outside. Down goes Ivar. But the legal man, Eric, takes control. This is absolute chaos in this tag team matchup. Damian Priest took it to the sky and took out Ivar, but the legal competitor for the Viking Raiders, Eric, has used that to take the momentum. And he is throwing Damian Priest's caucus around ringside. Priest heads back into the ring. Eric follows, there's Damian Priest wiping him out. How deep in this contest are we? 
how much these two teams still got left in the tank. They got to be near an E at this point. Priest going for a third, possibly final. Razor's edge into the cover. That's got to be all she wrote to move on. Ivar breaks it up. Damian Priest going to target the other half of the Viking Raiders. Sends the big man over the top rope. Damian Priest hitting the ropes. And my goodness, what a knockout blow. Maybe a time to try to take advantage. Ivar's down. Wait a minute, Damian Priest, the reckoning. And that's got to do it. Into the cover. All the way to WrestleMania. There you go. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic outlast the Viking Raiders in an absolute tag team war here on Monday Night Raw and they have punched their ticket to the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Man, they had one of the best matches of 2022 and they are given 2023 an early match of the year candidate. What a fight in Kansas City. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Well, the former World Tag Team Champions absolutely earning this victory tonight. The Viking Raiders, the first to fall in the first round, and there you see the updated bracket. Priest and Dijakovic will meet the winners of the Street Profits in New Day's fight next week, and then all roads lead to WrestleMania as the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues here in WWE. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. We are back live in Kansas City, and it is time for SmackDown's opening contest in the 2023 Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. As we take a look at the bracket here, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic from Raw winning their opening contest this past Monday night. And as you see next week on SmackDown, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet will take on Imperium. Eight teams, seven remain. The winnings to the victors goes the spoils. The finals of this matchup or the finals of this tournament will take place on night one of WrestleMania. The winners will challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the World Tag Team Championships on night two, WrestleMania Sunday, just 24 hours later. And it very well could be this man, Shinsuke Nakamura, and his tag team partner, Rick Boogs, going all the way to WrestleMania weekend. It's time to find out tonight on SmackDown. And their opponents first from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! It is the nights that careers are made, legends will live forever. WrestleMania weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, a double live premiere for the grandest stage of them all. And as we get set for your opening round match in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for Friday Night SmackDown, it is Legado Del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde. Looking to have a different result than their leader did, Santos Escobar, a little while ago here on Friday night. Will they be advancing to the semis? Are Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs going to be getting their hand raised here tonight in Kansas City? 
Nakamura looking to bounce back after his loss at Elimination Chamber. Rick Boogs, things haven't been going his way as well. Is tonight the night they need to get their hand raised yet again? We will find out in moments here on SmackDown. And from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs. Well, speaking of WrestleMania, already signed for that weekend. First time ever, the Beast is back. Brock Lesnar will go one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday. What about the Friday Night SmackDown main event? The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, takes on the man we will see in your main event, the visionary Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. The WWE Women's Championship for Monday Night Raw will be defended on Sunday night as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, puts the gold up against the number one contender, Becky Lynch. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, a long time in the making, Matt Riddle, your Royal Rumble match winner, versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. All that and more coming your way at the end of February, just over three weeks, but here we go. Friday Night SmackDown's first first round matchup in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Nakamura and Boogs versus Mendoza and Wild. Of course, the winners of this match will meet the winners of next week's Imperium. Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel taking on Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. That's coming your way next week on SmackDown. The semis will be after that, and the winners of the semifinals will meet in the finals of the Dusty Classic on WrestleMania Saturday. Look at Rick Boogs. My goodness, the height out of this heavyweight. Great tag team offense by Nakamura and Boogs. Boogs into the cover. Mendoza going to get the shoulder up, but that is impressive offense early on by Boogs and Shinsuke. And now there's the strength that we know Rick Boogs score extremely well. One of the strongest competitors, not only on SmackDown, but in the WWE, and he's showcasing it right now, moving this cruiserweight around like a rag doll. Now dropping the elbow. This match has been all Boogs and Nakamura since the opening bell. Mendoza and Wild take an L tonight. It is not going to be a happy drive home for Legato Del Fantasma, that is for sure. Santos Escobar coming up short against Tyler Mate moments ago. But Mendoza trying to make sure the luck's going to be a little different for himself and Joaquin Wild. Tagging in Wild as this Dusty Rhodes tag team classic opening rounder moves on. Now Wild, look at that springboard, goes for the moonsault, did not get all of it there. I think he might have got the feet on Boogs, nonetheless keeping the offense going. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. It's Boogs using the strength here, and that's really going to be, no pun intended, but the strong suit for Nakamura and Boogs, and that is the strength. Boogs better watch out, this dude's all over the place. Boogs going to use his strength, Nakamura's got to use his strikes. And as for Legato Del Fantasma, they got to use their high-flying ability to their advantage. Styles definitely make matchups, and this is one of them right here. Rick Boog sending Joaquin Wild into the corner, and here comes a little bit of tag team affair again out of Nakamura and Boogs. Nakamura going behind, and down goes Joaquin Wild. What a matchup it was this past Monday night on Raw. We're all kicking off their half. Of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic securing the victory over Eric and Ivar the Viking Raiders. But my goodness, what a match it was. An early 2023 match of the year candidate. The replay is available right now. Go check it out if you missed it right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Priest and Dijakovic outlasting the Viking Raiders in an absolute war. And they are moving on to the semifinals to meet the winners of this Monday night's match between the New Day and the Street Profits. Dusty Tag Team Classic has been awesome so far, and it's only going to continue to get better as the stakes continue to get higher. Not only is the prestigious winnings of this tournament on the line, but the chance to move on to night two of WrestleMania and challenge the Tag Team Champions of the world, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the gold. Lucky and Wild trying to get back into this fight here. And he clotheslines Nakamura out of his boots. 
Joaquin Wilde and Mendoza. They know how to strike as well. These two guys are fighters, extremely talented from bell to bell, but can they get it done tonight here on SmackDown? Mendoza in. A snap suplex on Nakamura. Simple yet effective. Goes for the cover. I think he knew he wasn't going to get the finish there. At least trying to get into the mind of the King of Strong Style. This is Nakamura's first match back since coming up short to Bobby Lashley. Back in Anaheim, the Elimination Chamber, failing to secure the United States Championship. A new opportunity arises here on SmackDown. Well, Mendoza trying to make sure the opportunity goes Legato's way. Springboard moonsault and now follows it up with that maneuver. Down goes Shinsuke Nakamura and Mendoza is not done inflicting punishment here tonight in Kansas City. Tag made to Joaquin Wilde. Legato's looking to make a statement and looking to make it loud and clear tonight. Double team maneuver. Joaquin Wilde into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? And it is. Rick Boogs too late to break things up. And Legato del Fantasma is moving on to the semifinals. Credit where it's due, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza effective in this matchup, especially that last minute or so after Nakamura and Boogs really control the early portion. Moving on to the semis. What a match. Here are your winners, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Legato. Well, that is the result, and let's check out the updated bracket. The road to WrestleMania continues as Legato del Fantasma outlasts Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. They will meet the winners of next week's match between Imperium and Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. We are back live here in Sin City, and it is time for the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic to continue right here on Monday Night Raw. The tournament kicked off last week with Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeating the Viking Raiders in the opening round. Now it's time for these two men, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, to meet Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Who's moving on to the semifinals on the road to WrestleMania? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Well, let's take a look at the bracket thus far in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Priest and Dijakovic defeated the Viking Raiders last week. Legato del Fantasma defeated Boogs and Nakamura this past week on SmackDown. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali meet Imperium coming up on Friday night. But tonight it is the Street Profits and the New Day in the first round. And all roads lead to WrestleMania Saturday. Well, we do, will determine your 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners. But the winners move on this Sunday night at WrestleMania to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World. So a whole lot riding on every single match in the 2023 tournament. Not only is the prestigious Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Cup on the line, but the chance to move on and make history back-to-back -back nights at WrestleMania and possibly dethrone Johnny Gargano and Namaso Ciampa of their WWE World Tag Team Championships. And I'm sure these two men would love to get another crack at DIY after coming up short on the 22nd of January in Anaheim, California. And their opponents at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. 
Kofi and Woods recently went 2v2 against Gargano and Ciampa. That was back in the Honda Center in Anaheim at Elimination Chamber. The tag team titles were on the line, but unfortunately the New Day walking away empty-handed. But a new opportunity arises in the midst of the Dusty Classic. They gotta make their way through three rounds. Tonight kicks it off for Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. But a win tonight moves them on to the semis. And the winners will fight Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Who will that team be? And of course, the winners of that match will move on to WrestleMania Saturday to compete in the finals of said tournament. This is gonna be an epic one. The Street Profits versus the New Day. They haven't tangled too many times here in WWE. Not complete strangers with each other, but also not super familiar. Should be a great matchup to continue us on in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic here tonight at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Last time we were in this building was back in December for Friday Night SmackDown's All-Star Kickoff. What a monumental night that was, an historic making night. And tonight gonna be no different on Monday Night Raw. The Dusty Classic continuing before our eyes and still to come in your headliner, your main event tonight. The Rated R Superstar Edge meets the great liberator Sami Zayn. A matchup well over a month in the making. The Edge's first time inside the squared circle. Competing, that is, since the Royal Rumble. Of course, Edge reappeared two weeks ago on Raw to lay out Sami Zayn. We'll talk about that situation in detail later tonight when those two men are in the ring. But let's focus on Montez Ford and Xavier Woods battling out with the prestige of this tournament on the line. There's a tag made to the bigger competitor of the Street Profits, that being Angelo Dawkins here. We're going to see a little bit of that tag team action from Dawkins and Ford. Great maneuver there by the Street Profits. Moonsault by Ford. Dawkins going to follow it up with a splash. And now what are the cover on Xavier Woods? Getting a two count there, or at least close to a two count. Woods gets the shoulder up, and the matchup rolls on another moment. Got to wonder who's more motivated tonight. Is the Street Profits hungry for their first opportunity in quite some time here in the WWE? Or after that loss at Elimination Chamber, as Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods got the adrenaline to want to fight against Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa again. Have they watched back the match from Anaheim? Do they realize the mistakes? Do they think they got what it takes to put DIY away for the tag team titles. All remains to be seen. Who wants it more? We are going to find out tonight in Las Vegas. Kofi Kingston, the legal man with Dawkins, and comes from behind with a simple yet effective axe hammer to the neck. Dawkins with the reversal there. Battling out with a former WWE champion right now, the New Day, one of, if not the most decorated tag team in WWE history both in singles and, of course, as a tag team unit. And Big E of the New Day will have his opportunity at some gold. Saturday night's main event, February the 8th. Big E's got a chance to punch his ticket to WrestleMania to challenge for a title he once held in the Intercontinental title. But again, the Street Profits here reversing the roles with another double team maneuver. That might hurt even more with the bigger competitor Dawkins coming down crashing on you. Montez Four going to continue the fight over Kofi Kingston as the Street Profits are in control. This Dusty Classic, and what a super kick to the midsection. Ford, well, look at that, rolls up. Kofi Kingston there, a little too close to the ropes, a little too close to New Day's corner. Kofi able to get the shoulder up. Nonetheless, Ford going to continue the offense. Smart there by the young man. A lot of, a lot of superstars and a lot of people in the WWE Universe. I believe Montez Ford is going to be a breakout star in his own one day, but tonight he's battling for the team. Big time splash to Kofi Kingston. And not enough. One count there keeps Kofi Kingston down. Kofi back into this. Look at that. That is vintage Kofi Kingston there going behind on his opponent, drops him with the DDT. And a much needed tag to Xavier Woods. Montez Ford there, already in New Day territory, able to block Woods off. Takes the rug out from under him and snaps the knee of Woods. Montez Ford, a lot of strength in that young man, a lot of speed and agility, a lot of power as well. Xavier Woods got one of the best physiques in WWE, no stranger to strength holds. He's gonna outpower the other. 
And this Dusty Classic there, and right there in that moment, it's Xavier Woods as he goes back to tag in Kofi Kingston. Ford tags in Dawkins, and we got fresh legs on each end coming in. Dawkins goes for the clothesline. Kofi dodges it, and that was grabbed a hold of the opponent. And Dawkins eats the turnbuckle for dinner. Now Kofi going to shoot him off to the other end. Here comes Kofi Kingston here. A little bit of classic Kingston action. Springs up and follows it up with the uppercut. And the New Day looking at firm control of this match. Kofi, there's the cover. Is that all she wrote for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic first round? Not just yet. Remember Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic had an early match of the year candidate just last week on Raw against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, just in the first round of this tournament. Want to know what this tournament means to everybody participating in it? Just go watch that back, that match. You will see how hard all four men fought. Dijakovic and Priest getting a week to rest here as they watch to see who their opponents are going to be in the semis. Whether that be the New Day or the Street, street Profits. Hawkins now whipping Kofi Kingston into the corner. Look at the agility. Every man in this matchup with a belt full of tools. Only a one count there, but that was very impressive by Angelo Dawkins. There's a reversal by Kofi Kingston. Got to keep your eye on the ball when you're fighting somebody with the veteran status of Kofi. This rushing leg sweep takes Dawkins down. Street Profits, no stranger to holding championship gold. They've been around the block once or twice, but Kofi Kingston's been around for well over a decade here in the WWE, and he's got a lot of tools to get the job done from bell to bell. Look at that! Springboard missile drop kick. And you notice how Kofi originally went to the top rope, then changed the game plan mid-game. Very smart by Kofi Kingston. One of the reasons the New Day have been so successful these years. Oh, wait a minute. Tag to Xavier Woods. Look at this. Midnight hour. Xavier Woods into the cover. To win this matchup here. And that's it. And I, well, I believe Montez might have got there in time, but I believe the referees were out of position. I don't know. We're going to have to see that back on the replay. But nonetheless, Dawkins was definitely out one way or another. Midnight hour by Kofi and Xavier Woods, and they're moving on to the semis of the Dusty Classic. Here are your winners, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Well, I'm getting word Montez Ford missed on the on the breakup, so that was a clean finish there. The New Day earn it. They defeat the Street Profits off the midnight hour, and they will face Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic 2023. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents the Elimination Chamber. We are back live on SmackDown, the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the road to WrestleMania is set to roll on with your final first round matchup featuring two teams from Friday Night SmackDown. Later tonight, the ring general Walter battles Tyler Bate for the number one contendership for the United States Championship. But his two partners in Imperium, Marcel Barthel, Fabian Eichner, Look to battle it out with Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the final spot in the semis on the road to WrestleMania. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. 
at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner in so let's take a look at the bracket thus far from Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, as well as the New Day, have moved on to the semifinals. They will meet this coming Monday. And as for SmackDown, Legato Del Fantasma moved on last week against Rick Boogs and Nakamura. And now they await their semifinal opponents. And of course, the winners of those two semifinals will meet in the finals of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic on night one of WrestleMania. WrestleMania Saturday, February the 25th. Not only will the winners be crowned the 2023 Dusty Cup winners, but they will move on to WrestleMania Sunday, February 26th to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World. So a lot riding on each and every match here in this tournament, not only with the Dusty Cup at stake, but of course for the opportunity to battle it out with DIY for the tag team titles at the grandest stage of them all. Eichner and Bartel set for action representing Imperium. And here comes opponent number one. And their opponents first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa. Well, Mustafa Ali had an incredible 2022 career resurgence. Unfortunately, ended on a sour note as he lost his United States Championship just nine days after winning it back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff. Mustafa Ali was a member of the Royal Rumble matchup, a member of the Elimination Chamber a few weeks back, unfortunately coming up short in both of those opportunities. But now through the roads of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic has another chance to be on the marquee for WrestleMania. And it all starts here tonight for Ali and his tag team partner, the one and only Ricochet. A team that came together through mutual respect. These two men had battled it out in an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup, which was won by Ali. But now both men searching for their road to WrestleMania. And through the respect and through the opportunity emerges a brand new team of the blue brand. And here comes the one, the only, Ricochet. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Ricochet held the Cruiserweight Championship from June 26th last year all the way till January 1st of this year. It was an impressive reign by that man in the blue and now with an opportunity on the horizon to possibly become the tag team champion with Mustafa Ali at WrestleMania. But they gotta get through Imperium tonight. And the winners of this matchup will meet Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, Laredo del Fantasma next week here on SmackDown in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. We are set to kick off your fourth and final first round match in this tournament. Bartel and Mustafa Ali. As the bell has sounded, we are underway with your co-main event on SmackDown tonight. We are gonna see the third piece to Imperium, the ring general Walter, in moments here on SmackDown as he will battle it out with Tyler Bate. Two men who got history with each other in NXT. They're gonna go one on one for a spot to fight Bobby Lashley on WrestleMania Sunday for the United States Championship. Martel going to the top rope, looking to show Mustafa Ali is that the only one that can take things to the sky. Remember a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, we got a little preview of this tag team matchup when Ricochet went one on one with Fabian Eichner. Ricochet walked away with the victory on that night. It's a little bit of momentum in the corner. This new tag team between Ali and Ricochet. And good so far. Owl Imperium, former NXT Tag Team Champions, be able to take down Ali and Ricochet. Obviously a new team, now nowhere near as much chemistry as Imperium. Certainly two different styles, four incredible athletes in that ring. 
Very interesting to see the result of this matchup and who will fight Wild and Mendoza next week here on SmackDown. Martel bringing Mustafa Ali into enemy territory in that corner. That's where Fabian Eichner has got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder waiting to get his hands on Ricochet again as we mentioned because of that loss a few weeks ago. Martel's really taking it to Mustafa Ali in Imperium territory right now. And Ali is all kinds of tied up and not where he wants to be. Now into the cover, first, will that be all here? I believe Eichner accidentally broke that thing up, or regardless, I'm sure Mustafa Ali was probably gonna kick out of it anyway. Orthel going for a power bomb, looks like here, but Ali, look at that! Frankensteiner goes into the cover, only a one count there, but a nice move by Ali to try to get back into this fight. Imperium's been controlling for the most part the last two minutes or so since this match kicked off. Ricochet now tagged in. And look at this, a little double team action there by the two high flyers. Now Bartel gonna crawl in to the Imperium corner, tag in Fabian Eichner, picking up where we left off a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, but Eichner right there to cut Ricochet's momentum down. Eichner, an incredible athlete. Tons of size and lots of power, but he knows how to take things to the sky. We were first introduced to Fabian Eichner in the WWE back in 2016, and the Cruiserweight Classic, same night, or same event that we met Mustafa Ali for the first time. And Ricochet doing what he does best in there, shooting star press, the human highlight reel, a smackdown, looking to bring things home, but not just yet. So Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of Raw, the WWE Tag Team Champions, but had their eyes glued on each and every matchup in this tournament, trying to scout who they just might fight on WrestleMania Sunday in the Tag Team Championships of the World. Like their own spaghetti legs like now. Ricochet bringing them into Imperium territory. Looks like Ricochet is going to look to make a mark. Oh, wait a minute. There's a nice counter by Eichner. Ricochet battles it out. Double knees by the one and only. And goes to follow it up with a senton, but Eichner gets out of the way. And slamming a Ricochet's head down on the canvas. Gotta keep your eyes on the former Cruiserweight champion, though. Can't keep him down for long. Backslide into the cover. Not just yet. And we have got a good one here in the final matchup in the first round of the Dusty Tag Team Classic 2023 edition. Eichner slamming down Ricochet. To get back into this match, showcase a little bit of that power. Ricochet knows he can pin Eichner. He did it a few weeks ago. Will he do it again tonight? Nice springboard there by the human highlight rail as Eichner gonna tag in Bartel and Ricochet gonna tag in Ali. Couple of fresh legs for both sides while Eichner is down and out on the outside and it may be a good opportunity for Ali to try to put this thing away. Hit with a drop kick, follows it up, taking, off, taking excuse me, Bartel off his feet. There's a counter there by Marcel. Now up on the shoulders, Ali goes down, and Imperium may be moving on to the second round. Didn't go for the cover, though, and that might be a mistake by Marcel Bartel, as Ali has been able to get back into this. All with the opportunity to fight on the grandest stage of them all on the line. All with the opportunity to win the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. All for the opportunity to meet the Tag Team Champions on WrestleMania Sunday. Into the cover. And Eichner breaking things up there. Almost had it, did Ali. Oh, look at this, Eichner. Better watch what he picks off as Ali takes him out with the DDT. Marcel is down yet again. And we're left to almost a handicap match, at least simultaneously here. Just as we were a moment ago, and Ali with the forearm, and follows it up with a super kick. Ali now heading to the top rope. Just like he does best. We all, all right, we, we apologize for the technical difficulties there, but Mustafa Ali dropping the leg drop on Marcel Barthel. Ricochet has been tagged in, and these two highlight reels looking to take down Imperium, but Marcel's got something else in mind. What a strong forearm there by Imperium's Marcel Barthel. 
Will the former NXT Tag Team Champions be able to outlast these two high flyers? Are Ricochet and Ali operating on a higher frequency right now? Marcel has taken a lot of offense these last few minutes by Ricochet and Ali. There's another counter by the one and only. Goes for a chop, able to duck it. Marcel obviously the bigger, a little bit stronger competitor. Lifting up Ricochet and suplexes him down on the canvas. Into the cover he goes, but I think that might be a rope break there, and yes it is. Gotta watch those feet dangling under the ropes just a little bit. It's gonna cause a save by the rope situation by Ricochet. He goes for the neck breaker again, but Marcel's able to counter it. And out goes behind, and this is where Imperium works at its best when they pick apart their opponent. The technical wrestling of Eichner and Barthel. Fabian Eichner back in, wants his win back versus Ricochet from a few weeks ago, but there's a counter by the one and only who sends Eichner into the corner and a clothesline there by Ricochet. Now goes for a senton, he looked for that earlier, this time actually connects. Who will fight Legado Del Fantasma next week here on SmackDown? Recall knee by Ricochet! Into the cover! And Imperium's wish to move on to the semis does not get granted. The one and only, and the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown, Punch their ticket to the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Very competitive matchup here tonight in Boston. Here are your winners, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Ali and Ricochet outlast Imperium tonight, and they are one step closer to WrestleMania. And there is the bracket so far, and there's the update. Ricochet and Ali will meet Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza next week on SmackDown. And this Monday on Raw, Priest and Dijakovic versus The New Day. Who is going to WrestleMania? We are back inside the arena. It has been a chaotic night on the road to WrestleMania, but it is time for your first of two semifinal matches in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. Well, over the last several weeks on Raw and SmackDown, we saw the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic play out. Four teams remain, two from Raw and two from Friday Night SmackDown, being Legado Del Fantasma and Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Those two teams will fight this Friday night, but right here on Monday Night Raw, we are set for the first of two semifinal matches in the prestigious Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The first time this tournament is taking place on the main roster, and it will conclude at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeating the Viking Raiders in the first round. And I'm sure these two men not only would love to win the entire tournament, but would love to get their hands on the two men that took away their gold back at the Royal Rumble, that being Johnny Gargano, and of course, Tommaso Ciampa. And his partner from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian and of course, we mentioned the tag team champions because whoever wins the finals of this tournament on WrestleMania Saturday is moving right along 24 hours later 
to WrestleMania Sunday to challenge DIY for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. It's going to be a busy weekend in the tag team division and certainly a busy weekend for at least one of these four teams that remain in the Dusty Classic. And again, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, they had won the World Tag Team titles back on September the 10th of last year at Judgment Day. Held them all the way till January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. But they were dethroned by Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY. So they defeated the Viking Raiders a few weeks ago in an epic matchup in the first round. But their opponents defeated the, the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. And now all roads lead to the semifinals here tonight on Raw. And at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. We're looking at two men who have already had a decorated tag team career. Along with Big E, how many tag team championship reigns have the New Day had? Kofi Kingston, of course, a former WWE champion, a former Intercontinental champion, United States champion, future Hall of Famers, no doubt about it, but still a long career to go for at least these two men that we are witnessing right now, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. And certainly a new obstacle and a new mountain to climb in, Dusty, in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, a tournament that they have never competed in and a tournament that they would love to win for the very first time and add it to their already long list of accolades. The winners of this matchup are moving right along to WrestleMania Saturday to challenge the winners of the SmackDown semifinal matchup, whether that be Legado del Fantasma or Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. We'll find out this Friday night, but here we go. The semifinals are on here on Monday Night Raw. Xavier Woods and Dominic Dijakovic kicking things off on the red brand. What an exciting tournament this has been so far. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. 2v2 versus the Viking Raiders a few weeks ago. Was, once again, they followed up and I think even topped their matchup from Raw Homecoming last December. What a match it was two weeks ago on Raw. Absolutely an early 2023 match of the year candidate. And again, as for the New Day, they defeated. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that strength and agility by Xavier Woods. Just last week on Raw, the New Day defeating the Street Profits. Another exciting matchup in the Dusty Classic. Two earned victories here tonight. And this Friday night on SmackDown, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, who defeated Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura in the first round, will take on Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, who just defeated Imperium in the first round of the Dusty Classic. And here comes Kofi Kingston off the tag. Springboard drop kick to Dijakovic. As this matchup progresses, what a night it has been here on Monday Night Raw. You want to talk about the road to WrestleMania and tensions running high. Look no further. I mean, all the action we have seen in the ring tonight has been absolutely extraordinary, but the story of tonight, Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, a WrestleMania Sunday main event, they just can't keep their hands off each other. This has been a story that has been building for almost a year here in the WWE since Randy Orton stabbed Riddle in the back in the parking garage. What was it, last May? I don't have the date in front of me, but it has been a long time coming for those two men. Riddle's been wanting to get his hands on Randy Orton ever since Extreme Rules last August. And those two men fought one-on-one -on -one for the only time, and Randy Orton promised it would be the only time he gives Riddle, the only chance he gave Riddle to get his retribution for everything that Randy Orton did. But remember, Randy Orton used that sledgehammer on that night and left the final nail in the coffin, buried RK Bro for good and left it in his past. And, or it went on to become the WWE Champion and has been absolutely dominant ever since. It really took Matt Riddle a couple months to get his mojo back and he really secured it back by winning the Royal Rumble back on January 1st. Everything those two men have been through, Matt Riddle putting his WrestleMania main event spot on the line this past Saturday night on Saturday night's main event, retaining it over Austin Theory. Only for Randy Orton to hit the ring and drop the number one contender with not one, not two, but three RKO's and leaving him in a pile of his own blood in the middle of that ring. There's been a storied rivalry between those two men and it's gonna to come to a head 
Sunday night, February 26th in Tampa Bay, Florida on a WrestleMania Sunday. And meanwhile, back to the action inside of the ring, Kofi Kingston dropping the boom on Dominic Dijakovic. The New Day gonna move on here, Damian Priest in there to break things up. Xavier Woods, however, going after the archer. Dijakovic, oh no, the bigger competitor rolling up Kofi Kingston trying to steal the win, not just yet. Both these teams want to get their hands on DIY. You know, Dijakovic, oh, wait a minute, what a maneuver! The agility of this big man. We talk about it every time Dijakovic and Priest are inside of that ring. But those two men are absolutely the complete packages from bell to bell. As we mentioned, Dijakovic and Priest, they, you know, they lost the tag team titles to DIY at the Royal Rumble, but the New Day got a bone to pick with Gargano and Ciampa as well. It was back on the 22nd of January in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber where they contested for the tag team titles against Gargano and Ciampa and obviously came up short. Xavier Woods tapping out to the Gargano escape. There was no escape for the New Day in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. Both these teams want to get their hands on the tag team champions again, but those two SmackDown teams want their opportunity. Busty Classic has been awesome so far. It's only going to keep getting better. One of these teams is moving on to WrestleMania. Tagged Xavier Woods there, but Dijakovic lying in wait, dropping the hammer on Xavier Woods. Dijakovic going to continue to work on Xavier Woods here. We mentioned Dijakovic and Priest, two complete superstars from bell to bell. Dijakovic throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Xavier Woods, using his height, using his power, coming off the top rope, using his strikes. They call this man a rare breed for a reason. And now, going for the power bomb on Xavier Woods. Transitions to a fireman's carry. Look at this, the strength by Dijakovic, but he may have been playing a little too many games as Xavier Woods getting out of it in a springboard. Bulldogs the big man down to the canvas. Gonna go high risk to look for high reward to take the big man down. And Xavier Woods heading into the corner now. He has got his eyes locked on the rare breed Dijakovic. Oh no, look at this springboard. Clothesline there. And Xavier Woods springing up into that clothesline, into the cover with Damian Priest again in there to break things up. And Woods going after Priest. Kofi's in there. Everybody's got to gain control. We got a Pier 6 brawl going on in the ring. Meanwhile, Kofi laying out Damian Priest. And Dijakovic with a super kick on Woods. The chaos. This thing is breaking down before our very eyes. Kofi takes care of Woods. Or excuse me, of Priest. But Dijakovic. I thought he was going for another super kick there, but Woods was able to dodge it. Both these teams won secure their spot in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic more than ever. There's another counter by Woods. EDT into the cover on the rare breed. Kofi, K oh, Kofi Kingston, I think, might accidentally broke up that pinfall there. Rare mistake by the New Day. Gotta wonder if that's gonna come back to haunt him. I don't think that was, of course, Kofi's intentional. What he was going for there, but I think the referee just called what he saw. Nonetheless, Dijakovic sends Woods to the outside, and here comes the big man with the crossbody. What a tag team matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Dijakovic, who's been in this thing for the last couple, couple of minutes, tagging in the archer, Damian Priest. That's a much needed tag for the former tag team champions. Xavier Woods on the outside, Damian Priest. Picking his spots right now. I don't think, I thought he might have been thinking about going to the air. I think he decided against it, misses for the ax hammer. Xavier Woods trying to outrun Priest here. Gonna make Damian Priest regret hesitating on that decision. Priest, however, throwing haymakers. Xavier Woods been in this thing for a couple of minutes as well. The New Day needs a tag. And as we say that, Woods brings Priest into enemy territory, but Priest able to avoid it. A couple of haymakers by Xavier Woods and he follows it up with an A. He's not done just yet. A kick right to the chest. There's Priest battling back. You see the sense of urgency of these two teams as this matchup starts to get into deep waters. Back and forth, the momentum swings in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Amy and Priest back into it. Woods is out, and he definitely is out after that big boot. 
Lights out for Xavier Woods. The archer has got Woods right where he wants him here. Pushes him off against the ropes, but Woods able to avoid whatever he had in mind. Runs at Priest and takes him off his feet. Woods is fighting back, but he needs a tag. Kofi has not been in this matchup for a few minutes. It has been all Xavier Woods finally starting to get some momentum, but the New Day needs some fresh legs in there now more than ever. Woods grabbing a hold of the archer, Damian Priest, and send him in a New Day corner. And there's the tag to Kofi Kingston. Oh no, wait a minute, this is what won them. The match against the Street Profits, midnight hour by the New Day. Kofi off the top, the power of Woods into the cover. Dijakovic in to break things up, however. It was that midnight hour that secured the spot in the semifinals against the Street Profits. But Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, no strangers to go in the distance. They came prepared tonight. Kofi better get back into this thing. He has turned his attention to Dominic Dijakovic, but Damian Priest is still the legal man. But Kofi's looking to eliminate Dan Dijakovic from this matchup, rushing leg sweep into the apron. This thing is breaking down yet again before our very eyes. Priest, however, get ahead to the outside, targeting the New Day's Kofi Kingston. At least scaring him away from his tag team partner for a moment, but Dijakovic is down and out. So is Kofi, at least for a second, and Priest sends Woods off the apron again, and an insiguri to the former WWE Champion. And Priest, eyes lasered sharp on Kofi Kingston. He's seeing red. Oh no, down goes Kofi off the reckoning. Priest into the cover to move on to WrestleMania Saturday. Kofi Kingston gets the shoulder up. And if there was any other team in there, I would say this is where they start to worry. But Priest and Dijakovic, as we just mentioned a moment ago, no stranger to go in the distance. This is what they do inside of that ring. As Damian Priest overhead throw to Xavier Woods, the power of the archer. And Priest and Dijakovic put on an early match of the year candidate with the Viking Raiders two weeks ago. They're doing it again versus Kofi and Xavier Woods tonight. And he's got him up. Razor's edge to Kofi Kingston. And he tags in the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. Goes for the elbow drop, but Kofi had it scouted. There's a strike by the rare breed. Kofi not able to capitalize off the counter. And this is where the bigger competitor is gonna pick apart the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Oh no! Up and down he goes! Feast your eyes on Kofi. Dijakovic takes out Woods into the cover. Is that all she wrote? And they are moving on to WrestleMania! What a tag team affair! Here on Monday Night Raw. But Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic off the feast your eyes are full steam ahead to Tampa Bay, Florida on the 25th of February. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Those two men will compete in the finals of the Dusty Classic on WrestleMania Saturday, but who will join them on SmackDown? The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. It is time to continue the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the road to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. We are set for your semifinal affair and here's how the bracket has played out since the opening round. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeated the New Day this past Monday night. They are moving on to WrestleMania Saturday. 
but who will they oppose from SmackDown in the finals? We will find out in moments here in Portland. Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wild already got some good mojo in the Legado corner after Santos Escobar's victory earlier tonight, but can they get it done in the semis of the 2023 Dusty Classic? And of course, WrestleMania is coming your way Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th. You are not going to want to miss this live premiere weekend. Both events taking place at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and you can find them right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Mustafa Ali, a former United States champion, most recent as of December, for this tag team tournament has really given Mustafa Ali a new boost that they're coming up short in the Royal Rumble matchup, that they're coming up short in the Elimination Chamber. Ali has got a road to WrestleMania if and only if him and his tag team partner can get through Legado Del Fantasma here tonight. And speaking of said partner, the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown, the one, the only, the former Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! The human highlight reel of Friday nights mixed with the heart and soul of SmackDown and Mustafa Ali. An incredible pairing. They got it done in the first round over Imperium. And now they meet Legato Del Fantasma tonight. And what again is lying on the line is a spot at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania Saturday, where the winners of this matchup meet Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic in a Raw versus SmackDown affair and then, of course, the winners of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will move right along 24 hours later to WrestleMania Sunday, where they will meet DIY Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Who is it going to be? We are going to find out right here, right now. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, Legato Del Fantasma mixing it up here in Portland. A whole lot of stakes riding on the line in this contest. What a match it was this past week on Raw. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic being pushed to their limits by Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day, but ultimately the former tag team champions, Priest and Dijakovic, moving along to WrestleMania. We talked about it then. We'll talk about it again. It we'll talk about it again now. How much Priest and Dijakovic, I'm sure, are going to get their hands on Gargano and Ciampa, the two men that took away their tag team titles back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. So they got their spot on WrestleMania Saturday, but who will oppose them? And it's going to be one of these two teams before our very eyes. And again, you got to believe both these teams coming in with some solid momentum tonight. Of course, their first round victories. And then moments ago, Legado Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, picking up that big win over Akira Tozawa. Even playing field tonight in Portland on SmackDown, but only one team can move on to the show of shows. And right now, Ricochet is looking good over Joaquin Wilde and the human highlight reel. Looking to showcase why we call him just that. Moonsault. And immediately into the cover. And will that do it early? Joaquin Wilde gets the shoulder up. We talked about it earlier tonight, but Ricochet, he held the Cruiserweight Championship from June 26th. 2022 all the way up till January the 1st of this year. A amazing reign for the one and only. The former championship aspirations recently in that young man's career. Mustafa Ali also held the United States Championship. Didn't have his best of luck as Ricochet. Only held that title for nine days between the SmackDown All-Star kickoff and Saturday night's main event back in December. But nonetheless, these two former champions who really came together through mutual respect. Remember, Ricochet and Ali had faced an Elimination Chamber qualifying match that Ali won. And now this opportunity arises in the tournament, and they're taking full advantage. Mendoza to the outside. 
and Ricochet doing what he does best over the top rope, down to the floor, take flight, does the one and only. And Mendoza on spaghetti legs right now. Ricochet sends him back into the ring, and Ricochet is looking to put this thing away here on SmackDown. So Mendoza getting back into it, unloading on Ricochet. Not the first time Ricochet has locked horns with these two men. Battled both of them in the lead up to his matchup with Santos Escobar all the way back at SummerSlam last year. And there's a tag to Mustafa Ali. Ricochet's got the momentum in the corner of his team right now. Now Lee off that senton takes down Mendoza. Nice forearm, follows it up with a drop kick. Four cruiserweight wrestlers inside of that squared circle right now. We'll face off with two all-around athletes in Priest and Dijakovic at WrestleMania. Mendoza trying to get to Legato corner, but Ali having none of it. There's a counter by Mendoza here. Pop up. Frankensteiner takes down Ali. Now a much-needed tag for Raul Mendoza if you ask me to Joaquin Wild. And Ali charging at him here. Grabbing a hold. Sends him into Legato territory there. And an overhand shop, Ali. Make it three of them right there. Throwing a little bit of everything at Legato del Fantasma tonight. Going high risk, going hard striking. All in the means to wrestle at the show of shows. A nice swinging neck breaker by the former United States champion. 2022 was a career resurgence year for Mustafa Ali and himself as well as Ricochet looking to make sure 2023 is just as good. Look at this. Double team maneuver squashing Joaquin Wilde in the corner. And now Ricochet into the bridge, into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Referee a little out of position here and Ricochet not able to put Joaquin Wilde, Joaquin Wilde excuse me, away just yet. That was great tag team offense there by a newer team of the SmackDown tag team division as Ricochet tries to send Joaquin Wilde over the top rope, but Wilde with a counter. Former NXT tag team champions in there, Legato is. And obviously the more experienced team compared to Ricochet and Ali. Ricochet, Ricochet trying to make sure the momentum stays in his corner right now. Look at this springboard, moonsault there. And again, Ricochet proving why we call him the human highlight reel of the blue brand. Here we go, springboard, Phoenix Splash, Ricochet throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Wild, but still not enough to keep Legato del Fantasma out for good. What a series of moves that was by Ricochet. First the springboard moonsault, the shooting star press, and the springboard Phoenix Splash. Ricochet doing everything he can here to try to put down Wild. And unfortunately for Ricochet and Ali, Legato was saved by the ropes there moments ago. And a tag made to Raul Mendoza. Ricochet got them both on that shot in the forearm to Raul Mendoza. What is it going to take to keep one of these teams down? Legato's got to get back into this. Oh, man, got caught off the shooting star press. Ricochet and Ali are definitely putting on a showcase tonight. They have been in the driver's seat, I'd say, 80% of this matchup thus far. But don't count out Legato. As we mentioned, former NXT Tag Team Champions and the more experienced team out of these two duos. But right now, they do not have an answer for Ricochet and Ali, and it is going to cost them in the long run if they could not get back into this match. And there's a counter there by Mendoza. Nice kick there to Ricochet. And here he goes. Down he goes. And Mendoza now going to tag in Wild. Legato del Fantasma. Now or never to secure their spot on WrestleMania. Wild going over. Oh, but there's a counter by Ricochet and drives him down to the canvas. Don't count out Ricochet's strength. One of the stronger cruiserweights in the cruiserweight division if you had to choose. And a clothesline there gets him out of trouble. And a drop kick takes Mendoza off his feet. Ricochet has got a plan tonight. And himself as well as Mustafa Ali are executing it to perfection. Goes for the moonsault and he nails it flush. And now Ricochet, the one and only, heads to where he's most comfortable, on the top rope, taking it to the sky with another Phoenix Splash! That has got to do it! 
No, not just yet. Legato del Fantasma lives on another moment. You gotta give them credit. You might not like their attitude. You certainly might not like their leader, Santos Escobar. But they are taking a beating and still fighting in this match. But what a showcase this is for Ricochet and Ali. I mean, they're pulling everything that they possibly got. And into the cover off the bridge, and Mendoza saves the day for Legato and company. Now Mendoza, not the legal man right now, but at least trying to take Ricochet's eye off the ball to no avail. There's a tag made to Mustafa Ali, getting some fresh legs inside the squared circle. Mendoza tried going after Ali, and Ali caught it with the tornado. And Ali there, taking down Joaquin Wilde. Nice senton by the former United States champion. The heart and soul of the blue brand, Mustafa Ali. There's a counter by Joaquin Wilde. Avoiding the drop kick there, goes for the chop Ali with one of his own. It is now or never. I mean, we mentioned that a few moments ago, but it really is getting into deep waters in this matchup, and Legato has got no answer for these two men, Ali and Ricochet. And Ali is heading to the top rope. Drop of the dime. Leg drop to the heart of Joaquin Wilde. Into the cover. And Ali and Ricochet are going to WrestleMania. Legato Lampel. Del Fantasma had no answer tonight. If they had a plan, it did not work out in their favor. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali were operating on all cylinders and they have punched their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania Saturday. Well, it has been an amazing 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic so far. There's the bracket, and there is the result. The, or excuse me, the finals are set for WrestleMania Saturday. Monday Night Rolls, Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest take on SmackDown's Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, who will win the tournament and move on to fight DIY on WrestleMania Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here on WrestleMania Saturday, it is the finals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And before we kick off the bell, let's take a look back at what has been an incredible tournament between these Raw and SmackDown Tag Teams. On January 30th, we kicked off the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, but for the first time, featuring superstars from Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Since that date, eight teams have battled it out to come one step closer to stepping foot inside the squared circle on the grandest stage of them all. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic will represent Raw in the finals on Saturday night. They outlasted the Viking Raiders in the opening bout and made their way through the New Day in the semis. As for SmackDown, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet have combined their talents together to become a force from the sky in the tag team division. Defeating Imperium in the first round, followed up by a win over Legado del Fantasma, these two former singles champions have a shot to make history. Not only is the prestige of winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic at stake, but an opportunity to move on to WrestleMania Sunday and challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World. With brand supremacy, a legendary tournament, and a title matchup on the line, who will be the last team standing? Tag Team Wrestling takes center focus at WrestleMania, and these two deserving teams head into battle right now.
It is time for the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals, where not only the winners will gain the prestige of winning this tournament, but will move on to tomorrow night, WrestleMania Sunday, to battle Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic! As Dominic Dijakovic makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you of the history of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic since the inaugural tournament back in 2015. This is the first time the tournament is taking place on the main roster, but in years past, it has been an NXT staple. And since then, in 2015, the inaugural tournament won by Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. 2016 won by Akam and Razor, the authors of Pain. 2018 won by the Undisputed Era. Fun fact here, 2019 won by Aleister Black and a man competing tonight in this very matchup, the one and only Ricochet. 2020 won by Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne. 2021 MSK and 2022 last year in NXT won by Brutus and Julius the Creed brothers and his partner from New York New York weighing in at 249 pounds Damian so what team from the main roster, whether that be Raw or whether that be SmackDown, will get added to that historic list of winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic? Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic representing Monday Night Raw. As you saw in the video package prior, they defeated the Viking Raiders in the first round. And what was a match of the year candidate already in 2023? And then they moved on to meet Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods and defeat the New Day ultimately in the semifinals. Now tonight, Priest and Dijakovic here on the grandest stage of them all, representing the red brand, and they will fight it out with Friday Night SmackDown's finalist in Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. And here comes the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. 2022 was a career resurgence year for this man, and Mustafa Ali is back on the grandest stage for the first time since WrestleMania 34 back in 2018, and very deserving at that. Mustafa Ali owned several victories over Seth Rollins last year, became United States champion, unfortunately for just under two weeks, but after a couple of rough months, Mustafa Ali finding his way back to the top of the mountain here in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. But it all comes down to this tonight. Ken himself and his tag team partner Ricochet make their way through Priest and Dijakovic to move on to WrestleMania Sunday and challenge for the world tag team titles. Ask and you shall receive, say his name, and he shall appear, the one, the only, it's a WrestleMania-sized Ricochet! And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, If Mustafa Ali is the heart and soul of Friday nights, well, you are looking at the human highlight reel of the blue brand. Ricochet held the WWE Cruiserweight Championship for over 180 days last year, and now finds himself already back in championship contention here at WrestleMania. You want to talk about a deserving spot on the grandest stage of them all. You want to talk about successful 2022s. Look no further than that man inside the squared circle. But it all comes down to tonight. 
It's only part one of this World Tag Team Championship story, but tonight is about securing the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, and the bell has sounded and we are off. Mustafa Ali starts it off for SmackDown. Dominic Dijakovic starts it off for Raw. And these two men, no strangers to each other, former members of Retribution several years ago. And you remember last year, April the 11th, at Backlash, when Mustafa Ali was in the midst of his rivalry with Seth Rollins. He was in need of a tag team partner, and who did he call? That was the man he is in the ring with right now, Dominic Dijakovic. A lot of history between these two men. A respect and history goes out the window tonight when the Dusty Cup and a tag team title opportunity are on the line. Ali, of course, the faster, if you will, competitor of the two, but Dijakovic certainly with the strength and even just as much agility as any man. Damian Priest in the ring right now. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. We have talked far and along, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, two of the most complete WWE superstars from bell to bell. Size, strength, agility, they got it all inside of the ring, which, which makes them such a dangerous duo. Here comes Ricochet getting tagged out, or tagged in, I should say, by Mustafa Ali, and in there with the archer of infamy, Damian Priest. Ali needed a moment to rest as the human highlight reel of SmackDown Ricochet is back inside the squared circle. And right now, you're looking at the two men who were successful this past week on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Of course, we saw a pair of triple threat matches. The first took place on Monday Night. Ricochet, Johnny Gargano, Dominic Dijakovic, and a triple threat on Monday Night Raw. The one and only walking away with the victory, pinning Dominic Dijakovic in that matchup. And then on Friday Night SmackDown, Damian Priest, the man who is looking for a razor's edge on Ricochet right now, and he hits it flush. The Archer of Infamy, wait a minute, he's not done, springboard! And a splash to Ricochet. Anything you can do, I can at least try to do better, says Damian Priest. But as we were mentioning, this past Friday night on SmackDown, Damian Priest in a triple threat matchup with Tommaso Ciampa and Mustafa Ali, and Priest pinned Ali in that match. So already some history throughout the last seven days between these two tag teams. Thanks to Raw and SmackDown as Dijakovic enters the fray and a tilt to world backbreaker. And this matchup has really been all Dijakovic and Priest since the opening bell. Ricochet and Ali have really had the speed and agility advantage over the teams that they have fought so far in this tournament. Yes, they fought, fought Imperium. Yes, they fought Legato del Fantasma, two more cruiserweights, but Ricochet and Ali are on a whole different level. But tonight, how will those strong suits fare against Dijakovic and Priest? Because right now, they don't got an answer, or I may have spoke too soon as Ricochet using that forearm to full fruition there. Ricochet not afra afraid to throw strikes with the best of them. Will do what he must to get his hand raised from bell to bell. The shooting star pressed by the man who does it oh so great. Ricochet ain't just a one-trick pony inside of that ring. He may be the human highlight reel. He may take it to the sky more often than not. But there's a reason he held the Cruiserweight Championship last year for as long as he did. That's because he's got a full arsenal of abilities that he's able to utilize at any time. Off the tag team maneuver from Ali. And Ali going for the drop kick again on Dijakovic. It does not land, but the Tornado DDT certainly does. Into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet as Dijakovic gets the shoulder up. And if there's one thing Ali and Ricochet got to realize tonight is they got to be ready to play the long game with Dijakovic and Priest, two men who are no strangers to go in the distance from bell to bell. Dijakovic sits out with the powerbomb on Ali. Dijakovic and Damian Priest, oh, wait a minute here, hold that thought. Dijakovic's in the corner, and he has got his eyes locked on Mustafa Ali. What a big boot heard round the world into the cover to move on to WrestleMania Sunday, and Ricochet breaks it up, but Damian Priest right there to try to take Ricochet off his feet. Dijakovic now turned his attention to the one and only. He better keep his eyes on Ali, however. A ricochet counters it out, neck breaker sets up Ali perfectly, and we end up getting a little tag team maneuver by Ali and Ricochet. And back to the thought from a few moments ago, Dajakovic and Priest, they were the WWE World Tag Team Champions. They won the gold back on September the 10th of last year, 
defeating Dominic and Rey Mysterio at Judgment Day. They held the gold all the way to the Royal Rumble on January 1st, but they lost them to the current champions, Gargano and Ciampa. So I'm sure Dijakovic and Priest from Raw would love to finally get that rematch with DIY, but they gotta get through Ricochet and Ali from SmackDown tonight. Ricochet back into this, and he cuts Dijakovic in half in the corner. Heads back in. We gotta stay on Dijakovic. You see this size difference between these two men, and Dijakovic obviously has the strength advantage as well. Feast your eyes on that incredible athlete. And a tag made back to the Archer of Infamy. Both teams getting some fresh legs in there, well, as fresh as you can get, as Ricochet now gonna use the same offense and cut Damian Priest in half. Now staying on the apron, but our watch here follows it up with a neck breaker. Incredible sequence of maneuvers by Ricochet, and I think we know what's coming. The one and only does this better than anybody. What a moon salt! Into the cover to move on. Tomorrow night, Damian Priest kicks out at one. We said it a moment ago. We'll say it again. Priest and Dijakovic, no stranger, no strangers to go in the distance. We have seen them do it in their tag team championship reign. Ricochet with a Phoenix splash off the top rope. Talking about making a WrestleMania moment, but not able to finalize it right there. As Di Damian Priest again gets the shoulder up. Ricochet has already thrown caution in the wind multiple times in this matchup. How much more can he keep up that offense from bell to bell as Priest and Dijakovic continue to survive? Priest on the outside. Wait a minute. Ricochet's wheels are spinning and he hits to the sky. The human highlight reel serving that nickname correct. Topekin Hilo over the top rope. Down goes the archer and Ricochet. I don't think he's done just yet or heading back inside of the ring. As Damian Priest is trying to get his wits about him right now. Tag made to Mustafa Ali, who misses for the super kick wildly, and Damian Priest looks to take advantage. Again, it was just this week on Friday Night SmackDown where Damian Priest used the reckoning on Mustafa Ali, got the pinfall, and walked away. And that triple threat matched the victor. Dijakovic trying to pin his former leaders. Ali gets the shoulder up again. So Gargano and Ciampa got to be watching this matchup with close eyes, hoping both these teams just beat the hell out of each other and leave nothing left for the winners to walk into WrestleMania Sunday with tomorrow night. And the tag team titles of WWE are going to be on the line. Down goes Ali again. And Dijakovic. Tags in Priest, seeing some frequent tags here from the Raw Tag Team, but Ali, full head of steam, and a vintage DDT out of the arsenal of a former United States champion as he sends Damian Priest over the top rope and down to the floor. And Ali, over the top with the corkscrew. Mustafa Ali coming to WrestleMania to show up and show out tonight. Make a name for yourself, young man. Damian Priest down on the, on the floor, and there's a springboard move sold by Ali. Ali wants to see his name and likes here at WrestleMania. Down goes Damian Priest, and Friday Night SmackDown's tag team are clearly in the driver's seat of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. Priest gets a much needed tag to Mr. Feasterize Dijakovic. Oh, wait a minute here. Dijakovic catching Ali off guard and using his own move on him. The Koji clutch Ricochet in there to break things up, but that was a smart maneuver by Dijakovic. You want to talk about catching your opponent off guard? Just use his own move on him. Oh, no. Dijakovic, no waste in motion here. Feast your eyes on Ali. And that's going to do it. Rawls team is moving to WrestleMania Sunday, but Ricochet breaks things up, and how close was that? If Ricochet did not save the day there, you gotta believe the Feast Your Eyes would have punched Dijakovic and Priest's ticket to tomorrow night. Somehow Ali is on his feet, and somehow he springs up for the DDT again. Ali going to the well with what works in this matchup. Anything to topple the obvious stronger and taller competitors. 
And follows up. Oh, misses for the super kick. And Dijakovic just takes his head off there with the clothesline. Dijakovic with the tag to Priest. Ali with the tag to Ricochet. Both these men, as fresh as they can be, gonna look to take out the other. Meanwhile, Damian Priest, down goes Ricochet. Broken arrow there by the Archer of Infamy. And keep down Ricochet as he takes Dijakovic off the apron and takes Priest down as well. And now heads to the top rope. Keep an eye on Ricochet as he goes for a second Phoenix Splash of the match. The ribs of both men got to be crying after that maneuver. And Damian Priest somehow, some way, gets the shoulder up again. Ricochet's not done. Pedal to the metal right now. Recall me, and that's got to do it. And Dijakovic in to break things up. You hear the chants from 65,000 plus here in Raymond James Stadium. Tag Team Wrestling on showcase here on the grandest night of the year. Meanwhile, Ricochet, German suplex. Incredible strength there by the one and only as he takes Dijakovic off the apron again. Got to divide and conquer here. Ricochet, top rope, shooting star press. Nobody does it like the human highlight reel and Friday Night SmackDown's tag team have won it all. What an incredible tag team matchup. And you can mark it in the history books. Representing Friday Nights, Mustafa Ali, Ricochet, the winners of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Certainly a hard-fought victory tonight, but their weekend is not over yet. Not only do they gain the prestige of being the winners of the 2023 Dusty Cup, but Ali and Ricochet are moving on 24 hours from tonight to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, DIY from Raw, for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. WrestleMania Sunday gets bigger with the tag team gold on the line. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern time as WWE presents the Elimination Chamber. Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.